What's up you guys? It's Cody coming back at you with another video, believe it or not. But we're about to go camping, pulling the trailer out. So I wanted to make a little video, a little camping vlog. Uh, we got the trailer pretty much ready. Uh, this is my first time making a video on it. So a little introduction, 2021 Forest River Evo. It is a 22 and a half foot trailer. I think it's a little under 4,000 pounds empty. Uh, pretty much it's all loaded up and ready. So it's probably a mess in there, but Let's see if I can I'll show you. So I got all this stuff's got to come out when we start. I mean, it's pretty much packed and ready to go. So it's not huge in here, but it's enough for me and my wife. It's a little tight with the dogs. They with the table turns into a bed. The dogs sleep on the bed. You know, I got a, a 80 pound Dalmatian and a 125 pound Dogo Argentino. So with the four of us yeah it's a little tight in there so i do plan on upgrading pretty soon uh probably gonna go with like a 27 footer because that's really about the biggest i could fit into my driveway i mean right now we just went camping not that long ago so i came in and just kind of put it right here uh, but it does go off the driveway a little better if i really try but we knew we were leaving again soon so i just parked it right here like this i can get it off the driveway a little bit but it takes some work it's a lot of work to get this trailer in here because my entrance is one car wide and even though this looks kind of far when my truck is hooked up my front end is still right here so that doesn't allow me to crank my wheel because i'll hit this wall so i can't get this to angle so when i get a bigger trailer i won't be able to get it in here as is so i plan on opening this gate entrance up I'm gonna cut the wall back about five feet and extend this gate and we should be able to get a longer trailer in here much easier. Uh, we got the truck pretty much ready. Let me show you guys what we just put on. And I know that this is what a lot of you are really here for is the 7.3. For those of you guys that are new here, this is a 2001 7.3 power stroke. I have a 14 inch lift, 40 inch tires, uh, lots and lots and lots of upgrades, custom built stage two transmission, uh, 488 gears in the front and rear, uh, upgraded turbo tuner, and I got just tons of work in it. So it pulls that trailer no problem. The back end does not sag at all when I hook up my trailer. I know I can get a, a bigger trailer with a heavier tongue weight and still be okay. Plus that trailer I believe has like a 300 pound hitch weight and the ones I'm looking at have like a 450, 500. Um, I think it's like, no, it's it maybe 350, uh, 350, 400, but the ones I'm looking at, sorry about the sirens. Uh, the tongue weight's not that much heavier, so I should be able to handle just fine. Truck is ready to go. Trailer's pretty much packed and uh, we'll be hooking up and heading out in a couple hours. All right, you guys, we made it at the campsite. Trailer's set up. Dogs are settled in. Trailer's set up. Dogs are having a good time. Camper's cleaned up. Like I said, it was a mess before, but everything was in here. Once we get here and set up, cleans up. This is the dog's bed. Everything's good. The trailer's nice. It's a good size, like I said. It works for, for me and my wife alone. It would be fine. 
but with the two giant dogs <laughs> they're just they're just too much it's too too small in here so i'm gonna get like i said hopefully a 27 footer with pop outs the pop outs are gonna make a big difference the biggest problem here is the walk space because i don't have any pop outs in this one so we're squeezing by each other here the dogs lay on the floor you're stepping over them they're huge so it's not an easy step <laughs> but it works for now we'll upgrade soon like i said i have to uh open up that gate area that i was telling you about in order to fit a bigger trailer that won't be that big of a deal i think i can get that done in a day uh build a gate cut two feet of a uh, brick wall knock the wall over extend the gate should be good so here we are camping's fun i like camping So it's our last full day here. It's Monday, we leave tomorrow morning. Tuesday morning, we leave. This place is empty during the week, which is nice. Our row here, you see a couple trailers, but two of these trailers live here. And then after that, it's all empty until like another one over there. And then they live here, and then it's all empty on this row. There's no one here. It's super quiet. It's really nice and relaxing. And we're like, yeah, we gotta stay during the week more often, especially just even just doing the Monday, Tuesday thing. It's great. The 7-3 is admittedly super dirty. Got mud all over it. The wheels are dirty. That's me stepping on, <laughs> stepping on the wheels to look in the bed and get stuff in the bed. Tires are dirty. I have not given this thing the love and attention, one, that it deserves, and two, that I used to. It's super dirty. These mirrors, at this point, I don't even know about cleaning and restoring them. They just might need to be replaced. But it's been raining, and to be completely honest with you, I do not give this thing the attention I used to when I made videos consistently. It needs some uh, TLC for sure. I did just get the rock lights hooked back up, so I hooked these rock lights up. Where the heck? It's so dirty I couldn't see it. And, you know, there's a rock light. There's a rock light. Uh, they didn't work for a while because, unfortunately, my truck is so tall that my dogs can walk right under it, no problem. So they went underneath and chewed the wiring for the rock lights. So my rock lights didn't work for a while, but I fixed it. Rock lights are back up again. You know, I'll, I'll show you guys some pictures or videos later of those on. Oh, for those of you wondering about the paper towel in the, earlier in the video, that's because uh, my dogs will walk up against the hitch and get grease on their fur. And that's not fun to clean. So I put the paper towel there, keep them from getting the grease on their fur. Other than that, everything's great. Camping's great. We're still grilling. The dogs are chilling. Grilling and chilling. I'm chilling, they're chilling. And the truck handles no problem. The 488 gears handle towing no problem. I've had some people ask me about the gears, whether or not I'm happy with them and recommend them. There's so much that goes into what gear ratio you're gonna go with with your truck and what you're gonna, let me back up from the speakers a little bit. So again, I've had people ask, you know, am I happy with my gears? And there's so much that goes into what gear ratio you should go with with your truck. Again, I have 40s, right? If I didn't tow a trailer, 456s would probably be perfect. Driving the truck around empty, 456s would probably be more than enough. When I get on the highway and I'm at like, when I'm at like higher speeds on the highway, the RPMs are a little high. You know, especially depending on where you live, if you got some high speed limit highways and freeways where you can go pretty fast, 70, 75, 80, the, RPM, the RPMs get pretty high, but Towing the trailer, if, it, if I didn't have the trailer again, 456s would be good, but towing the trailer, 488s are just about perfect. The up and go in city driving is perfect and pulling my trailer is perfect. So you gotta really take into account everything you're gonna use your truck for and what gear ratio you're gonna go with. If you're gonna tow, if you're not, your tire sizes and stuff like that. But for me, the Stage 2 tranny and the 48 gears, absolutely perfect for what i use the truck for towing the trailer it's a small trailer we'll be upgrading and we'll get a bigger trailer it should still handle well i <laughs> i wouldn't go higher than 488s or i should say lower than 488s but it's perfect the 488s super happy with them it'll save the tranny in the long term 
it, it, you know, the, the get up and go with the 40s is like stock. So I'm, I'm, I'm definitely happy with them. Well, we're back home from camping. Trip is over. It was a great time. Everything went well. Everything went super good. The trailer doesn't have any issues. Uh, camping trip was great. Lots of barbecuing and hanging out. Dogs love it. Had a good time. The exhaust gas temperatures never really go up above like 900, which is no problem at all. It got to like a thousand at one point going uphill for a short period of time, and that's still not too much. Uh, usually sits around 900, so handles Handles it no problem. Now what I need to do is just really give this thing some love, man. It's been a while. Put some tire and wheel cleaner and some tire shine on there. Need to kind of restore this plastic and stuff like that. Haven't been giving it a lot of love, but we'll get it back. So that's pretty much it for this video, you guys. Just a little camping vlog. I didn't show too much at the campsite, but it's pretty basic, you know, camping, hanging around, not doing much, but uh, there it is, finally a video. Hopefully I can make some more in the near future. I do w still want to make videos. I'm just, just been too busy with other stuff, but uh, I will try and get into it a little more again whenever I can. So hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll catch you on the next one.